Good morning and welcome to your latest uh, weather update here. So we are, um, there's a developing low pressure system along the western coast of WA currently. Um, the synaptic forecasts, are show, our observations are showing it's sitting right on the, uh, the coast as of 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. That is forecast to slowly drift west, southwest, uh, during the next couple of days and kind of, ha well, next day or so, and kind of hang around developing. Um, as you can see with this synop synoptic chart here. So it will kind of hang around out off the coast before crossing back over about at Geraldton and slowly making its way southeast and developing a little bit stronger south of South Australia there. So as this um, low tracks, so once it tracks onto WA and, and finally re-strengthens off the coast of uh, southern South Australia, severe weather is expected to, um, to form near near it as it tracks a little bit east now it's not going to uh, cause too many issues it's not going to be one of the bigger ones that we've seen recently down south that have brought like severe thunderstorms and stuff like that um it is it is expected to bring a bit of weather with it but nothing like overly crazy at this point and I've just swapped over to the sweat index. So this usually is used for severe thunderstorms, but it can be used for um, for any weather really. So we'll just go forward, and you can see that nothing too crazy is expected. You get in those into those oranges, but it's not nothing too bad as this low tracks east. So you can see that the um, sweat index does get a bit red in this particular area, but that's nothing unusual there, really. Um, I'd expect some squally lines, possibly some low-end severe thunderstorms across here, most likely with damaging winds will probably be the most hazard that these will put out. So we'll just keep going forward so you can follow. And as it gets down towards the uh, South Australian coast and Victorian coast, kind of peters out a bit. Uh, the severe weather index isn't too dramatic around that particular area. We do have heightened possibility around Sydney, Newcastle later in the week. So this is currently Saturday at around midday, midnight, sorry. So there could be a bit um, late night activity, uh, storm activity around uh, the eastern central New South Wales coast there. Next, I'm going to look at the expected rainfall across the country. So as I say, the um, that low, even though it's going to track and bring potentially severe thunderstorms. The rainfall is not expected to be too much. For uh, most of WA, South Australia, it may get a little um, heavy around the Victorian highlands, especially, and even along the um, southern Victoria coast here, where uh, totals are a little bit higher than uh, elsewhere here. Now, the low will bring some decent rainfall for Tasmania. So the whole island state will get some decent rainfall here. Um, so we could see uh, totals around up to 100 mil in places here uh, where the purple is. Red is around 80 and then it decreases. And as we can see, the um, moderate falls around parts of Victoria 
in like the 50 60 range up there which is still pretty decent for that particular area um and dropping down to like 30 20 to 30 around in wa now looking up in the north and more closer to where i am we're going to see a bit of an increase in rainfall for the darwin region and uh, around Jabiru, Pine Creek, Daly River. This is likely from thunderstorm activity, which is pretty common at this time of year. Um, so we'll see the storms forming inland and then tracking towards the coast. Uh, most of those storms will likely form uh, around the Bachelor Adelaide River uh, area. Some of them will go into the metro area as well. But... Um, the, the bigger falls are likely to be in this little purple area here where 100 mil is um, forecast. Around 60, 70, maybe even 80 around the other areas. So it's not too bad for a seven-day period at this time of year. If it was in the middle of the wet season, 80 mil in a week isn't exactly that much. But at this particular time of year, 80 mil in a, in a week is, is pretty decent. And you can see the hectare, and for those that don't aren't familiar, there's a regular afternoon storm that develops on the Tiwi Islands here, and that was nicknamed Hector the Convector in World War II, I believe it was, from pilots. So the name's kind of stuck. So it's showing that Hector would be pretty active uh, over this seven-day period but that's pretty standard for this time of year anyway. So now we'll just have a look at the uh, eastern top end, um, eastern inland areas, Gulf country. All these areas should see isolated to scattered shower, uh, thunderstorms, including up the Cape, um, which is, again, nothing unusual for this time of year as it's the build-up. So it's pretty much standard textbook conditions happening for the time of year over most places the far north queensland area will see some onshore showers so they will see um some decent no nothing like the the poor folks in atherton saw the other day where they um they had even hail up there which in a tropical location is pretty um impressive but it is high up in the mountains there so Kind of understandable so shower activity there now the southeast queensland area that has been pummeled by storms the last few days will see a few days of respite so even though we've got rainfall uh, forecast here this is more next weekend when showers and possible th uh, thunderstorms are meant to increase again but at this stage, nothing too dramatic, probably more like garden variety storms, which um, most of them won't be severe, but there still could be the odd severe th uh, thunderstorm thrown in there. But most likely nothing as bad as what, what people have seen over the last few days. But the next few days for southeast Queensland is going to be relatively dry. Uh, you may see some morning rain on Tuesday or um, or the odd thunderstorm, but it will clear up during the day on Tuesday and you should see a few days of um, very little. So if you like to top up your tan or go to the beach, that would be the perfect day to do it, perfect time to do it over the next few days. Right now I've just brought up the temperatures. So we're starting tomorrow, uh, today, this morning. So Tuesday morning, um, we will see relatively warm temperatures around the Brisbane area uh, in the high teens to low 20s. Uh, we will see mid-teens to uh, a little low, like 13 degrees in places around uh, inland of Sydney. But Sydney itself is likely to be about 16 this morning. Further south in Melbourne, Melbourne's expected to be around 10 degrees. Same with Adelaide is pretty close to that as well, which for November is pretty chilly. 
not not super cold but still pretty chilly perth is expected to be on the warmer side around um the late teens early 20s and hobart is meant is looking to be quite chilly down there uh, around 10 degrees and when i say chilly it may not be quite chilly and for tasmanians but from a darwin point of view that's like icicles but anyway um and moving up to darwin darwin will be higher like mid to high 20s uh this uh, tuesday morning now we'll just quickly move into the later in the day and later on in the day um <coughs> brisbane mid to high 20s are expected And Sydney is expected to be into the mid-20s tomorrow. Melbourne, going to be quite a cold day, um, even for their, by their standards. Be around the late teens, um, around down there. And the same with Mel, uh, Hobart. It will be into the mid to late teens uh, during the day tomorrow. Probably more on the lower side than the higher side. Over in WA, um, Perth will be in the mid 20s and um, mid to high 20s. So it could possibly go up. Let me just move that forward. So we could see the high 20s up to low 30s up there. Now, Darwin is expected to go up to its usual around 34 uh, during the day tomorrow. So, pretty much tech standard. And you can see the uh, the rest of the country, what it's expected to be tomorrow. Let's move to Wednesday. So Wednesday mornings is, is expected to be close, pretty much similar to what we saw on uh, Tuesday morning. So not a huge difference in forecasts for the uh, for the minimum on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I apologise, and same for the daytime on Wednesday. Uh, temperatures should be close to what they were on Tuesday or today, and um, yeah, that's 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 for the next couple of days for the um, temperatures. I don't like to go too far ahead because how volatile and unpredictable things can be, but. So yeah, that's um, that's today's update. I'll, I will uh, get another one out in a couple of days' time. And um, thank you for listening as usual. Have a good day.